what is going on guys thanks for checking out this video my sports gamatria in this video i'm gonna go over a football game for thursday december 5th 2024 i'm gonna show you highlights of each side and it's going to be up to you to determine who you think will win based on the numbers i encourage you to add additional information on top of this if needed for you to feel confident in your own picks and if for some reason you're curious to know who i'm picking in this game or any of these games You'll have to join my Patreon where my picks are always in writing, underlined, and italicized. For more information on that, please read the pinned comment in the comment section below of this video. I wish you guys the best of luck on all your picks for this day, for this game. Let's go ahead and get into the game. We're going to be looking at, let's bring it up here. Uh, Thursday Night Football, Packers versus the Lions. The uh, Detroit Lions are at home in Detroit. They are currently a three-point favorite. And this is the game that we're going to be looking at. But before we get to that game, let's go ahead and recap last week's week 13. Uh, last week for Thanksgiving week, uh, it was a perfect week. It went 6-0, and no losses. Um, I wasn't necessarily going to pick the, the Bears and Lions game, the first game of the uh, of Thanksgiving. If you saw my Thanksgiving video, uh, I mentioned that I, I didn't have that built out. But afterwards, um, some people were kind of pointing towards the Bears, so I just had to build it out because I was just curious. Uh, I ended up still picking the Lions, um, and then I picked the Cowboys, and then I went ahead and went with the Packers. And, you know, I talked about that scenario in that video about if all three home teams won. Um, Packers would be giving home teams their 95th win for the day. Um, and I think Green Bay, Wisconsin, sums to 95 is what I mentioned in the video. But, uh, yeah, I went with all three home teams, all three won, Lions, Cowboys, Packers. You okay, big guy? You doing all right? Um, Lions, Cowboys, Packers on Thanksgiving, so it's a great Thanksgiving holiday. Sunday, um, I didn't get to building out the Chargers and Falcons game, so I just x that out. I didn't pick that game. But uh, in Sunday afternoon, I did pick the Eagles uh, over the Ravens. That hit. Sunday night football, I had Bills over the 49ers. That hit. And then we finished it off with Monday night football, Broncos over the Browns. Uh, it brings me to 47 wins and 23 losses for the overall season. 27 wins and 12 losses specifically for primetime games. 10 and 3 on Thursday night football, 10 and 3 on Sunday night football. And I finally made it over the hump. And I'm 7 and 6 on Monday night football. I'm above 50% on Monday night football. What a battle that has been this season <laughs> and last season. Last season, I finished, I think, five wins and 11 losses. So this season is already better than last season's. Not by much, but only by two wins so far. I finished with five Monday night football football wins last season i'm already at seven this season and i think i could get a couple more but uh yeah great week last week gonna keep the uh momentum going into this week all right let's go ahead and talk about this thursday night football game on this side of the screen is what i call my daily numbers date numerology gregorian hebrew calendar and then on this side of the screen is what I call my game numbers, numbers specific to the game. The way they have it structured here is I have the distance to the upcoming Super Bowl at top. I have the location of the game, city, state, stadium coordinates. I keep track of home team win-loss records. So this will be the 196th NFL game for this season. Uh, I got the head-to-head -head records between the two teams right here, the regular season and for this season in particular. And then right here is the home team, their season record, their coach's record, their quarterback record, their name game to to and from their birthday. And then at the bottom is the road team, their season record, their coach's record, their quarterback record, their name game to to and from their birthday. So let's go ahead and hop into this. I typically start off with the home team. I'm going to go over some numbers for the Lions to win this game. And then I'm going to go over some numbers for the Packers to win this game. So starting off with the Lions, the home team, if the Lions were going to win this game, uh, it would be an 11 special. The Lions are on the hunt for their 11th win in a row for this season. If they were to get their 11th win in a row for this season, they would also become 12 and 1, like 121 for a season record to go with. If you pop in the 121 number into number properties, we find out that 121 has a square root of an 11. So 11 times 11 sums to 121. Lions can get their 11th win in a row for the season as they become 12-1 and one for a season record with the win, which has a square root 
of an 11. The Packers coach, Matt LaFleur, he would get his 31st loss regular season for his career to go with 31, the 11th prime number. Now, Matt LaFleur, he was born on November 3rd, written 11 slash 3, 11 slash 3. And uh, the Lions, they can get their 11th win in a row, and the Packers can end their three-game winning streak. 11-3-3-11, Matt LaFleur, born on 11-3, slash could get his 31st loss, 31 the 11th prime. It all kind of just goes together a little bit. Uh, what else? Uh, it will be a day with uh, – oops, I had it on the wrong day, the fifth right here. It will be a day with 41 date numerology on the Gregorian. The Lions coach can get his 41st win regular season for his career. It'll be a day with 61 date numerology as well. 61 if you write it out sums to 41. Uh, and the Lions could become 6-1 and one at home for the season with the win. And this will be Jared Goff's Lions quarterback 61st game as a quarterback specifically for the Lions regular season. And... Um, it will be a day leaving 26 left in the Gregorian year, and the Lions, the home team, can give home teams their 101st win regular season for the for the NFL season this year. Uh, 101 mathematically is the 26th prime number. On top of that, Jared Goff, the Lions quarterback, can get his 78th win regular season for his career as the Lions pick up their 78th regular season head-to-head -head win against the Packers to go with. And that's just kind of what I have for the Lions to win this game at this time. There's some decent numbers there for the Lions, uh, especially the 11 pattern. I like the 11 pattern. Um, but um, there's definitely some numbers here. Jordan Love, he can get his 13th loss regular season for his career on a day with 41 date numerology for the Gregorian, 41 the 13th prime number. That could go against the Packers as well. But uh, we got some good numbers here for the Lions. Let's go ahead and look at the Packers. What would be some numbers for the Packers to win this game? Sorry to interrupt this video, you guys, but I need a huge favor from you. Can you go ahead and like this video and leave a comment below on who you think is going to win? It's going to help with the YouTube algorithm. It's going to help grow my channel. I really appreciate you guys being here. Let's go ahead and get back into the video. If the Packers were going to win this game, they could be at the hands of... Um, uh, Jordan Love's birthday, in a, in a sense, because uh, Jordan Love could be the winner here. Jordan Love and the Packers could be the winner here uh, for this game. Uh, and what do I mean by that? Well, the Lions, if they lose this game, they become 11-2 and two for a season record. 11-2 and two for a season record. Uh, and Jordan Love, the quarterback for the Packers, he was born on November 2nd, 11-2. So you have the Packers coach born on 11 3rd or November 3rd, and you have Jordan Love born on November 2nd. Packers coach, obviously, his birthday was signal for the Lions' favor, getting their 11th win in a row. Packers in a three-game winning streak, 11-3, like 1-3, 11-1-3, excuse me. But Jordan Love, 11-2, could be the Lions becoming 11-2 for a season record with a loss. The Lions coach, he would get his 35th loss regular season for his career as he sits on 35 wins regular season, specifically as a coach for the Lions on a day with 41 date numerology. 41, if you write it out, does some to 35. Jared Goff, the quarterback for the Lions, he would get his 52nd loss regular season for his career. 42, or excuse me, he would get his 50, yeah, 52nd loss regular season for his career at 52 days since his birthday. Um, and the Lions will become 5-2 and two, uh, at home for the season with the loss to go with. I'm actually going to mark that in a light blue because that's a, a pretty good pattern, honestly. It may or may not hit, but it is a, a pattern there. It goes with his birthday, his uh, his uh, season, his record overall, and then it's for the Lions record for the season. So... A distance of 52 days since his birthday. He can get his 52nd loss regular season. Lions could become 5-2 and two with the loss to go with. Um, Matt LaFleur, the Packers coach, he can get his 66th win regular season for his career. 66, if you write it out. Sums to uh, 41 today with or the day of this game has 41 date numerology on the Gregorian. Jordan Love, he wears the number 10. 
This is his 29th start regular season for his career, 29, the 10th prime number, and he can get his 17th win regular season for his career to go with. If you write off the number 17, it sums to 109, the 29th prime number. So he wears the number 10. This is his 29th start regular season, 29, the 10th prime. He can get his 17th win, 17 written out, sums to 109, the 29th prime number. This would also signal for the Packers to get their 10th win for the season to go with. Jordan Love wears the number 10, his 29th start, 29 the 10th prime. Packers could get their 10th win for this season to go with. Packers would become 5-1, and one, like 51 on the road for the season. 51, if you write it out, sums to 46 and 35. Today with uh, 41 date numerology on the Gregorian, which sums to 46 and 35. And then, of course, we come back here. Yeah, Lions coach would sit on 35 wins as a coach for Lions. Jared Goff would sit on 35 wins regular season for his career as a quarterback for um, the Lions. And the word Lions sums to 66. In fact, the word Lions sums to 66 and 30. The word Lions, I'll say that again. The word Lions sums to 66 and 30. Matt LaFleur, the Packers coach, could become 66-30 for a regular season record in his career, and it would come at the hands of playing against the Lions. Lions sums to 66 and 30. So there are – oh, and one last thing, LaFleur, this is his 96th game regular season. He can give home teams their 96th loss by beating the Lions. This is the second time these two teams have played each other for the season. Oh, yeah, Ford Field also sums to 52. That would go against the Lions, the 52 pounder, 52. They could become 5-2 and two at home, 52nd loss, 52 days since his birthday. That's actually kind of piling up against the Lions there. I thought the one, I thought the 11 pattern was kind of good, but that 52 pattern is looking kind of good against the Lions. So this one's going to be a tough one. There's some uh, some good numbers on both sides here. Uh, definitely an uh, interesting game. So uh, I'm going to have to think about this one a little bit, but there's definitely some numbers here for both sides, some compelling numbers for either side, good narratives. Uh, not really wishy-washy, pretty direct. Pretty direct uh, numbers. Who's going to get it? I don't know. Packers coach, that 66-30. Lions, 66-30. That's good for the Packers. The 52 pattern against the Lions, uh, their quarterback in his 52nd loss, 52 days since his birthday, they become 5-2, and two, and then Ford Field equals 52. That's going against the Lions. So they got some good numbers against the Lions, but the Lions also could get their 11th win in a row. They could become 12-1 and one for the season, which has a square root of 11. Packers coach could just get his 31st loss, the 11th prime. And uh, the Lions coach can just get his 41st win on a day with 41 date numerology. You know, I, all the numbers that I went over, they could become six and one at home on a day with 61 date numerology. You know, the word Detroit, the words Detroit Lions do sums to the 61. Detroit Lions could become six and one at home for the season with the win. Jordan Love could just get his 13th loss regular season for his career on a day with 41 date numerology, 41, the 13th prime number. He would sit on 16 wins going up against the Lions, whose quarterback wears the number 16. So you can make a case for either side here, a very good case for either side. It's going to be a good game, maybe. Um, the numbers are are interesting, so I'm not 100% sure which side I'm going to be on as of right now. i got to think about it a little bit more. Some pretty good patterns each way. But I really appreciate you guys watching. I really appreciate the support. Hopefully this helps. Hopefully this gets you started on a decode as the decode that you already have. I really appreciate you guys watching. Again, I really appreciate the support. Hopefully you win all the money in the world. And I will see you guys in the next video.